What is up, everybody? The History Guy here. I know it's been a long time since a gaming video, but uh, those of you who have been with the channel for a while, you know that September and October are my very busy season uh, in my real job, which is Rachel's Challenge. So I'm traveling around the country, speaking in schools. I was in Maine and uh, Carbondale, Illinois this last week, and before that, of course, down in Tennessee, which is why you got the video from the Shiloh Battlefield. I do have an upcoming trip in late October uh, that's going to take me just outside of New York City in the West Point area, and I've actually got a day off in between the two schools I'm speaking at, so I'm going to have a chance to hit some of the West Point uh, sites, the uh, the area where the fort was, of course, the uh, on the Military Academy campus. We're going to go to the cemetery. Ton of famous people buried there, but for today. We are going to be looking at, uh, for a very first time, for me anyway, the Battle of Bunker Hill, which has now been added to the, what is Backer Build 3 of Ultimate Ad Admiral Age of Sail. It's this kind of pre-release uh, alpha stage of the, of the upcoming release of this game. It's now got 10 battles. There are a couple of other ones that have been added as well, but we're going to look at Bunker Hill today. I'm so excited to dive into this one. I'm a huge fan. Uh, of studying the American Revolutionary War. So we'll talk a little bit about the history behind this battle, which was not fought on Bunker Hill. Um, so I, I don't expect to do incredibly well on this actual battle just because I am still very much a noob at playing this game. But at the very least, it gives us a chance to talk about the historic battle of Bunker Hill, which was a big, big, uh, important step in the Revolutionary War and kind of that process of uh, eventually winning their freedom for the Americans. Our destiny has brought us here on this hill. We built this redoubt to stand for our rights against the mighty British Empire and its arrogance. Of course, this is not Bunker Hill. This is Breed's Hill that we're fighting on. And we've also built some dirty wooden fences to protect our left. More Patriots are approaching to join this battle. Order them to double quick when they come into sight. So we can get up there a little sooner. Uh, this is Charlestown right here. Yep. The regulars have started landing at this position and marching on us. We are low on numbers and supplies, standing in front of the strongest army and their naval guns, but we are high in morale and determination, so let them come. Hold your fire and wait until you see the white of their eyes, then fire at will. Which was supposedly said by William Prescott, who is right here, who was kind of in overall command. Um, so a little bit of background about the battle. First of all, not fought on Bunker Hill. Uh, Bunker Hill is back here. I think this should be Bunker Hill right here. So originally, that was the objective for both armies. The, the Americans were supposed to set up their fortifications here. The British were supposed to take that hill. Somehow, they all ended up fighting over here. They called it the Battle of Bunker Hill, but it's on Breed's Hill, which is this hill here. Uh, just kind of one of those weird things that happened. Uh, it was a British victory, but it was an incredibly costly British victory out of about 3,000 troops the British uh, sent into battle that day. They lost 1,000 of them. Uh, so it was a big, big deal. Uh, and it was kind of one of the last hurrahs for William, uh, or not William, Howe, for, uh, oh, what was his name? Yeah, it was. Uh, Howe was here. Um, but it did not really go that well. Thomas Gage was there as well. Um, Pitcairn, John Pitcairn, who was the guy who kind of led uh, the British forces in the battles of Lexington and Concord. He was killed here, as was James Abercrombie. On the American side, probably the most prominent casualty of this was uh, General Joseph Warren, who was a prominent Boston physician. He was a young guy. I think he was only like 30 years old. He was John Adams' doctor. Um, he was killed. He was actually, I think, a Appointed to the rank of major general, maybe brigadier, uh, but the appointment hadn't come through yet. So he was actually fighting here at Bunker Hill as a private, technically. Uh, so he was not in command, and he was killed uh, toward the end of the battle. And it was a big, big blow uh, to the Americans. And it was around this time that back in Philadelphia, the uh, the Continental Congress is in the process of adopting the militia, the Massachusetts, New Hampshire, I think maybe some Connecticut militia that are here. And they, of course, along with adopting the militia, then appoint George Washington, a Virginian, to be the command of the army. So this was the last battle fought by the Continental Army, not under 
George Washington's command. He arrived here a few weeks later to take command, and they kind of went into a siege of Boston that lasted all the way until the following year. So even though the Americans lost, they were outnumbered. They lost about 450 men, but they inflicted, like I said, about 1,000 British casualties, including uh, something like 80 British officers who were casualties in this battle, which was a big, big deal. Um, let's see what's happening here. So obviously, uh, the strategy was a big part of this. Uh, I think that the British could have won this battle which f with far less cost if they've been a little smarter with their own strategy but I have a feeling it's going to go a little better for them this time around because I still don't really know what I'm doing but this is our first kind of large scale land battle that we're experiencing with this, with this game of course I'm really looking forward to the campaign on this and Prescott How's he getting rear flying? Oh, he's getting hit by the shelling from from the Somerset, probably. Gotta say, I'm I'm a little disappointed that the men behind the fortifications are taking more casualties than they're dishing out. Let's get these guns somewhere they can do some damage. Maybe up here. I'm going to keep Willix down there just because I don't know what he might do. Actually, I'm going to put him up here on this hill because I want to see if the British land any troops down here in Charlestown. I want to get somebody up here on the flank so if he marches into here, we can hit him. I'm going to hold Madison in reserve right there. Put Ellis over here. I'm watching for the reinforcements. I don't think they've come yet. All right, Prescott's not firing enough here. We gotta get him up. Oh, lost like 33 men already. Doesn't help. We've got all this cannon fire coming down on us. I'm going to have to move Gibbs up because I think we're going to lose low before too long. What's happening over here? Okay. Let's get these guys moving a little faster. second unit firing on him. Alright, we drove back Isaacs. That's good. Obviously, anybody who attacks right up the hill like this is not going to go well for him. I'm more concerned about what's happening over here. Alright, we got to get Ellis a little closer to Morgan's troops. And nothing happening over here, so let's go ahead and bring Thompson up start firing into these flanks. Supplies have arrived. Okay. All right, now we're going to get Cushing, I think, to fire on this battery. No, I don't want you to move. I want you to fire. Where are my supplies? Way back there. Okay. So this worries me, the Glasgow sitting there. Like, if he's got troops, he could land them behind me, and I'd be in real trouble. Oh, I can't hides out of range, that's the problem. Alright, well darn it. So we gotta move this battery up some more then. This fortification's destroyed? I can't occupy fortifications there. That kinda sucks. Alright, let's move Prescott back up. I'm gonna put more up here. Let's see if we can get into Mayall's flank. Let's make them run to do it. Oh, he 
turned Brown around. Oh, that's not good. I can't really hit Brown from here. Can we get Madison up here into that spot? This Thompson is just going to get destroyed trying to go toe to toe in the open like that. Double quick! Wisely gonna start charging me because he knows I'm about to break. Darn it. Alright, that's not good. We just lost our fortifications here. Uh, William, don't fire till they see the whites of their eyes. Prescott just broke with his unit. charge just fire on them from here all right things are going better down here my six pounders just got shattered I'm not surprised by that as soon as I lost that part of the fortifications I knew I was in trouble so the Americans had only occupied this I think a few days before, maybe like three or four days earlier. But it gave them enough time to get the fortifications going and to build a really strong position on this little peninsula that kind of juts out into Boston Harbor. Their plan was to occupy all of the heights around the harbor so that they could protect the harbor. And of course the heights kind of became key eventually uh, to the American victory. Oh, he just charged those other guns. Oh man, I did not see that coming. Meanwhile, Moore is going headlong down in there, and that's not good. Let's get him out of there. The fight for the redoubt went well. Your supplies are going to take forever to get up there. Keep them on the road. Can I draw a line like I do in Ultimate General Civil War? Yes, okay. This is definitely not going to be nearly as successful as the historic battle was, I can tell you that much. Yeah, those fortifications are destroyed there, I can't even occupy them. And this is a real problem for me here. Oh, can I get these guns back? Another supply wagon is on the way. That's awesome. That's actually the only reason the Americans lost this battle. They ran out of supply. Uh, they could have probably continued to hold, but they started running low on ammunition and eventually were finally forced to withdraw because they just couldn't keep fighting off the British onslaught. Yikes. This is going to get bad. Here comes another landing up here. Let's get Prescott, Prescott back up in there. Yeah, Moore's in trouble because I got him caught down there in the middle of everything. I'm trying to break through to get him out. Let's send Prescott this way. His morale is only 24%. disappointed how poorly the units in the fortifications do against men in open ground. I, I feel like they should do better. Like Cole, look at that. 18 kills, 40 deaths. I realize they're fighting British regulars, and so they're expected to not do as well, but historically they did. I mean, historically they did well in this battle. They inflicted two to one casualties. And honestly, it was probably a lot higher than that in the early phases. It was only when the Americans broke and a lot of them got caught in the redoubt that they suffered a lot of their casualties. I 
looks like we have bayonets. Charge him. Prescott's men are gonna break. I love the little New Hampshire flags. And the Massachusetts flags. It's really cool to kind of see the 3D modeling and I, I wonder how that'll be. I mean, obviously these battles are not nearly as big as when you get to Civil War battles. Uh, I think the largest battle in the American Revolutionary War was um, probably the Brandywine or Germantown. Let's see what they have. Yeah, probably about 30,000 men combined on both sides. That was about as large as any battle got during the American Revolution. Now granted, if we're going to get into Napoleonic battles, different story. I don't know how much that will get into or not. Second, Lieutenant Gerard Ellis is killed. The nice thing is when the crew shattered from guns, you can kind of rearm them with your infantry units, which is what I've done here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and speed things along a little bit. I'm not gonna win this battle, obviously. Of course, the Americans didn't, but I wish I could have at least done as well as they did. With a little experience, a little time, I'm sure I'll get there. I mostly just wanted to let you see what it looked like. Oh yeah. 22nd Massachusetts Regiment Skirmishers is shattered. British secured Breed's Hill. My supplies aren't even going to get there. They're actually getting fired on by somebody that I can't even see back there. Well, anyway, there you have it. The Battle of Bunker Hill. Let's go ahead and finish it off and just see what the ugly casualties end up looking like. Uh, I'm going to get much better at this game by the time we get a campaign. And I'll be ready to go when that time comes, but at least you get a kind of a first look at what this is like. The 18th Massachusetts just surrendered. All right, I did I did manage to force a unit of Royal Marines to surrender, which was kind of awesome. But we're going to finish this up now. We're going to see what the final ugly count looks like. Here we go. So he had nine ships with 176 guns firing on me. And... Uh, the strength is actually a little bit less than what it was historically. Uh, the British probably had a few more men than that. They had probably close to double that number of men. And, of course, the casualties much, much higher on my side. Uh, actually pretty close to what they historically were on his side. So um, there you have it, the Battle of Bunker Hill. Not a good look for me today, but I'm not surprised by that first time out. So let me know your thoughts. And uh, I'm going to go back real quick to the menu and just show you a little bit more of what's available at the moment on what they call Backer Build 3 of the game, which is where we are at this point. You just have all these battles available. Bunker Hill's the latest. We've got Snakes and Powder. 
which I believe is kind of a, a combination Navy and uh, land forces. Uh, I think acting captain we did before, so these are the two latest ones. So we'll get in there and do snakes and pow powder sometime. I believe everything else has been done so far, but I'll go back and look. There may be other ones I haven't done yet. Um, but there you have it. So let me know your thoughts. Please hit that thumbs up if you would. I am going to try to get a couple more videos going this week on games. I've got a few more things coming from visits to historic sites out in Wyoming. I visited the supposed grave of Sacagawea. And I also visited Independence Rock, which is an important landmark on the Oregon Trail. So be watching for those in the coming days. Thanks so much, guys, for your continued support and your patience with me when things are a little quiet this time of year. I promise it's going to pick back up very, very soon. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon.